Hello friends, today we are going to solve another uh, interview problem. Count the set bits in a given number. We are given a number and we need to find all the set bits in that number. Okay, so for example, if the number is 23, so we know the binary presentation of 23 is 10111. Okay, so if we count the set bits, there are four set bits. So the answer is four. So for example, the number is 15, so the binary representation of 15 is 1111, so answer is 4. So let's go to Blackboard and see how we can we can solve this. So for example, let's say number given is 10. So let's first write the binary representation of this number. So this is 10, so 8 and 0 to 10 and then 0. Yeah, so this is the binary representation. This is, uh, 1, 2, 4, 8. Okay. So this is the binary representation. So there are two set bits, right? So our answer would be two. Uh, there are a couple of ways we can solve it. One is we can we can divide the number by two, okay? And uh, so let's say we have a ten, and when we divide by two, so if the remainder is zero, so we have a result zero right now. So if the remainder is zero, then we'll add we'll not add anything to our um, result. So now this is 5. Again, we'll divide by 2. So 2 to the 4, the remainder is 1. So we'll add 1 to the result. Okay. And now the number is 2. So 2 to the 4. So when we divide 2 by 2, um, there are uh, 2 ones are 2, no remainder. So add 0 and 1 divide by 2. So number is 0 and remainder is 1. So answer is 2. Okay. So we can keep dividing the number until it becomes zero, and every time um, there is a remainder greater than zero, we'll add it to the result. Okay, simple approach. So, what if if someone asks you to find this without, uh, uh, you know, dividing the number without using a division operator? So how we can do it? Um, then, um, then we can solve it using uh, shift operators. Okay. Okay, so we know when we right shift the number by 1, that is equivalent to dividing a number by 2. And when we left shift the number by 1, that is like multiplying with the number by 2. Okay, so if we see, let's say the number is still 1, 5, or 10, so representation is um, 1, 0, 1, 0. So if we right shift, right, by one, so number becomes one, zero, one, that's a binary representation of five, okay? Then we right shift and number becomes one, zero, that's a binary representation of two. Then we shift and number is one, that's a binary representation of number one. And then we, if we do the right shift again, number becomes zero, okay? This is equivalent to dividing the number by two, but we are just shifting uh, the number uh, by one. Do, we are doing the right shift by one every time. Okay, so um, we can do and. Okay, so the number n and use the and operator with number one, and whatever is the result, whatever is the outcome. We'll add it to our result. So let's say our result is here. So when we do the AND operator, so this number is only 1. So this 1 and 0, okay? So we know that 1 and 0 becomes 0, okay? So 0 plus, then right shift by 1. So now number is 1, 0, 1. Again, do the same operation. Do a AND with 1. So now... This is set at the last bit. This is at set at the last bit. So only the last bit will be compared. So one and one becomes one. So we'll add one to the result. Then again, do the right shift. Do and with the one. So one and zero become zero. So zero and one. So one and one is one. And after that number becomes zero. So we'll add one. So answer is two, okay? So let's read the approach. This is the approach. Check the last bit of number. Okay. If it is 1, add it to the result. 
right shift the number by one, repeat the first two steps till the number is greater than zero. Okay, so let's look at the code. It's a pretty straightforward, simple code. So while number is greater than zero, check the last bit. Okay, so how we can check the last bit? Number and one. Okay, and add it to the count. Right shift the number by one. So this is as equivalent to dividing the number by two. Okay, and do this while the number is greater than zero. And at the end, we are keep counting. If this is one, we'll add to the count. So this will print the result. Uh, uh, this is how we are going to solve uh, this problem. And uh, I leave the link of this article in the description of the video. And uh, yeah, uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Uh, bye bye.